so looking there. If I put the bucket hat on today, because it's quite sunny outside. It is quite sunny. It's nice. You know, 20 degrees. No, not 20 degrees. I wish it was 20 yeah, degrees. 16 degrees, which is still nice. It's basically summer. Basically, probably the only summer we'll get this year. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome to the podcast. You already know the name by now, and if you don't, then you're not a real fan. <laughs> 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 this is episode nine. nine oh, yeah. one away from the big one. Double the, digits. Yeah, the last one we'll ever do. <laughs> <laughs> the finale episode next mm-hmm. week, guys. Okay. We've, uh, oh, should we do it in seasons, do you reckon? Like, this is season one, ten episodes. One of like a, like a break? No, we just have like season one and then... Well, what's going to be different about season two? Nothing, except <laughs> it'll be called season two and we'll create hype. We'll be like, yeah, guys, season two is going to be wild. We'll make like a trailer, like mm-hmm. create fake beef. Fake, oh, yeah, that's it, that's it. And then we're going to... Or we could create real beef with all of our friends <laughs> and have them come on the show. Yeah. And be like, why did you start the beef? <laughs> <laughs> we should get like a round table of everyone. Oh, we should. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. The round table, like with fucking King Arthur or whatever his name is. <laughs> I'd be King Arthur. Arthur. Fuck Same. off. You wouldn't be seated at our table, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd somehow I'd own the round head. table, bro. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we changed the setup today, guys. Mm hmm. We're in the lounge. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more comfy. Yeah, it's sort of just like... I felt like in the other set, I was always facing you more instead of like also facing the camera. So I was kind of like restricting my body language, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so this is this is the behind the scene, the secret, mm-hmm. the secret um, episode room. No one knows where this is. Yeah, I know, the headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> it's where all in the, the basement. ideas come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how are you, Louis? I'm alright, bro. How are you? How have you been recently? Yeah, chilling. I um destroyed you in sparring yesterday, <laughs> which is sick. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Um, what would you like to talk about today? I've got a few topics. Um, first of all, um, <laughs> when do you think, like, if say you had a child, mm-hmm. when would you allow your child a phone? and or access to the internet? That's a good question. Because I know I, I, I got my first phone, I think, in year seven. My first like smartphone. It was just like, yeah. do you have like a, the, you know, the Windows phones? I never had one, but I saw uh, them. Like yeah, the, the Nokia Lumia. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, yeah. They, were pretty cool for, they were pretty cool, to be honest. Um, That was my first phone. That was mainly because just like, kind of needed a smartphone like just like traveling and whatnot mm-hmm. um so i get the bus to school in liverpool um in year six i had like a like a little like nokia like 3310 or whatever whatever you call yeah. them like just like, like 10 pound mm-hmm. whatever um but now i see like like my my sisters uh one of them's like i don't know how old they are but like <laughs> <Nice. Good laughs> I, I think i think one is nine or ten and she had have had a phone since like seven which I think is too early, personally. My dad justified it with the reason of it was COVID and that, like, obviously, uh, he wanted them to be, like, able to, like, talk to their friends. But it's kind of like, you can still talk on, like, your iPad. Or what? So what's the difference between the iPad and the phone? Yeah, maybe, like, the, so- the social media you can get, probably. No, nah, I think you can, like... You, I, you can still get it, can't yeah, you? Yeah, I feel like you sort of you can't justify like not getting them a phone because they've got an iPad I feel like once you go there you can't you, you've gone there they're all the same if you can go on Google Chrome it's the same because you go on Google Chrome you go on e- almost every social media um, see perfect world I'd say like 11 or 10 like when you start year 7 yeah year 6 and year 7 because that's I feel like it's important to get sort of used to having the phone in year 10 and learning the responsibility. Year 10? No, no, not year 10, sorry, being 10. Okay. Um, because it is something that you've got to be like, oh, this is an expensive thing that I have to have in my pocket. I have to make sure it's okay. I also have to, like, you can't really learn to be responsible online at 10. But it's mm-hmm. it's handy that you are comfortable enough with it so then when you go into year 7, mm-hmm. you know how to use it. Yeah. And you, also, it's also good for making friends like follow me on Instagram and then you have yeah, like yeah. mains in your yeah. bio <laughs> um, I think the first time I, I, so I'd say 10 mm-hmm. but at the same time like if your kid's a piece of shit 
and you just don't want to be part of it, just be like, go sit in your iPad. Just don't talk to me. Like, at like six. See, that that you know part I mean? of parenting, like, it's just... It's a bad, it's a bad I, I don't idea. think, yeah, I don't think it's a very good... I know, obviously, we aren't parents ourselves, True. but, like, so we, we don't have much of a place to speak. But being, like, oh, just go and sit on your iPad, like... I don't care. And like I, I don't want to deal with you right now. <laughs> like I want some personal space. Here's your iPad. I don't think that's a very good idea because obviously it's the internet and like you could do what it like yeah, the child it's just a fucking un- awful idea. unrestricted access to the internet. Like kids who are eight, any of any age, can watch porn. Yeah, how old are you when you first watch porn? It doesn't even have to be like hardcore porn. We talked about this in the last episode. Oh, did we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I think you're like six. That. That was a good point, actually. <laughs> Scrap that bit. <laughs> um, fuck what? I just completely forgot. Oh yeah, yeah. like almost straight uh, access to yeah, the internet. No, it is a really bad idea, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I think I'm biased because I hate kids. So I I can't imagine myself putting myself that much out for a kid that I don't want. You know what I mean? Like if you're sound, then yeah, you know I got time. Yeah, you gotta you. You think this is your child now because you you're, you're gonna have some emotion. Some I would hope you'd have some form of an emotional connection to your child. Nah, it depends. It, well, it depends. Like, are they sick? <laughs> this is are the they thing. a minute to me? Yeah, I couldn't have like. Oh, see, right. I was talking to George about this, and I was like, if we did have a kid, it would start off fat. It'd be a chubby kid, and then it would get skinny as it gets older. Like that would definitely happen. Do you think? Yeah, because it happened with me. It happened with her. Like it doesn't mean it gonna, doesn't mean it has to happen with your child. No, but I mean it's most likely it's in our genes to have that glow up. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I think it just depends on how like active you are. Like I was a bit chubby. I wasn't active when I was younger. Yeah, but I think I think it's in the genes of my family to have that, unless you're going out of the way massively. Do you not think that that's a thing? Well, like how much? Uh, no offense, I don't think either of us did much physical activity no, when all. we were younger. No, well, I, I played football quite a bit. Um, like yeah, but like when ranges, you co- when you compare like thing. you know the thirty minutes every couple of days mm-hmm. that you play football to the hours you set, spend True. eating shit sitting on your iPad, you're gonna be a bit fat, aren't you? True. I I think, but I I do think there's a big me getting as skinny as I did. Like I think that there's definitely a genetic part of that where you lose all Possibly, the puppy yeah. fat, you know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah, bit. Yeah. So I think our kid would have a lot of puppy fat and then go skinny. Mm-hmm. But if it was ugly, then I, I wouldn't have time for it. <laughs> like, I, 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 I hate <laughs> ugly kids to the core. I can't watch certain films because they've got ugly kids in them. I, oh I can't God. do it. That's it, terrible. No, it's really That's bad. Horrible. It, it causes horrible actual person. rage in my <laughs> stomach when I see an ugly kid. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That was bad. So when, yeah, when would you allow access to the internet? Because I think I probably had access to the internet from a younger age, but it was more social media where I had access from like eleven onwards. Because I would play like Club Penguin and like Moshi Monsters. True. Like that yeah. was that was that True. was sick. I was playing Moshi Monsters at like eight, seven, eight. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Because I think that that's like a decent way of having exposure to the internet because it's very controlled. Like it, it is a kid's site realistically isn't it like you can't like say fuck on yeah yeah you get banned <laughs> I remember trying <laughs> say all the time <laughs> what? just say like, like fucking shit <laughs> and it would be like stop 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 yeah, stop yeah you get banned I was a black belt in was it card jitsu card jitsu yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that was sick there was always like a um, specific um, <laughs> like sequence like a specific time or like thing i would do when you're playing against someone and i would always get it right yeah i, I would i was never too sure if it was a bot or not because of how successful i was <laughs> i would count in my head it was like seven i'd like wait seven like turns or something i can't, I can't remember how and then i'd play it and then i'd always win nice so i don't know i um i just re- i just had a memory i completely forgot about this i got black belt in card jitsu mm-hmm. and I went upstairs and woke my dad up <laughs> to tell him that I just got a black belt in card jitsu. <laughs> God damn, would have been like 8am and I'd snuck down to go play on the Mac and then <laughs> God, yeah, if my kid woke me up to be, do that, I'd, I'd say it to his face that you're a disappointment to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want you to be my dad. No, me neither. Not right now. I feel like I could be a cool dad. I nah. just, I don't, have the, I don't have patience for kids at the moment. That's my. Oh yeah, we're seventeen, aren't we? Like, 
Yeah, but some people do. Some people are like, yeah, I want kids. Like, you see all the girls all the time, like, yeah, I want kids. I, I don't have the patience. Could you have the... If you, you know, say you would finally dropped lucky and a girl wanted to, you know, talk to you, <laughs> and one thing led to another, Fuck you. and you got pregnant. I got pregnant. Yeah, you got pregnant. <laughs> no, you know what <laughs> I mean. Um, would you keep it? it or, not this... Sorry, not, no, not sorry, this... Sorry, not she has said she's keeping it. What do you do? See you later. <laughs> it would just bounce. Take him when we get bullied and move school. <laughs> um, it's a sticky one because it's her body, her choice. But yeah. it's also our choice to stay talking to her. You know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta get a new sim. <laughs> it depends, one, on the woman. Well, like, yeah. do I think... Is she, is she it would wifey be a, material? Yeah, would it be a sustainable relationship? Because, like... Because it's like, am I going to stay and try hmm. with a bit <laughs> someone uh, that within three months, like, we're going to be, like, shouting at each other and shit. Mm-hmm. And, like, how is it going to impact my life? Like, is it going to, like, it's going to massively impact my life, but, like, am I going to be able to do things, still going to be able to fit time in? For the things I want no. to do for myself, which is probably no. No, you don't so, fit time in now, let alone. Of course I do. Barely. I don't have to, I'm playing time for eight hours per day. I'm like. I'm chilling. So when I'm I say on a nice time, when I message you and obviously I don't, I don't get a reply, and then you're like, "Sorry, man, had shit to do." Yeah. That shit to do is just chilling. No, I'm not chilling. I'm like sitting on my ass. I like reading my book. I'll do some revision. I like meditating shit. Being like, your friend is so difficult. <laughs> It's not. It's just annoying when I'm like, yo, Louis, look at this funny meme, and then it's expired because it was on someone's story. I <laughs> turned your phone off for 48 fucking hours because you're like, I want a dopamine cleanse, bro. You should really try it. You should. No, I probably should. You, you, de- <laughs> you definitely should try it. I'm just addicted to my The phone. thing is, right, you're saying, like, you're making fun of me for this now mm-hmm. because you haven't tried it yourself. You don't understand the benefits. See, I get that mindset so much because I'm always like that with food combinations, and everyone's like, no, you're just disgusting. But I'm like, have you tried it? And like, no. So it's like you don't have an opinion. Exactly. So don't piss true, at me. Try true, it. True. True. How? I want to see, but making fun of you is fun. I, I like that. I have a, a position now where for an hour, an hour and a half, you have to sit there and talk to me, <laughs> so I can say basically what I want. <laughs> What's an outrageous claim that you've got that you would definitely not want to share on the internet that you're about to share on the internet? Wait, say that again. What's, What's an out- outrageous claim? that you have that you wouldn't share on the internet that you're about to share on the internet it's uh, like it's like a belief that you wouldn't want people to know that you have hmm um. <laughs> I don't know I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say I possess a lot of controversial opinions really really your favourite author is Jordan Peterson. <laughs> like, no, he's not. Well, I, I was paraphrasing. But what's controversial about Jordan Peterson? He's a, he's a good a guy. N- right, this is the thing. Jordan, too much Jordan Peterson leads you on a bad path. What do you mean? Like, there's a there's a certain limit of that sort of... Have you read Jordan Peterson? No, and exactly. I won't. No, but, no, but there's like a, there is a limit of that sort of red pill, blue pill mindset where no matter what side you pick it, sort of ends up at the same incel destination it, it's like you gotta be careful with it because you'll either end up being an incel or you'll go through that sort of um what do you call it that like you know delay gratification and i'm the man and working out's great and then all of a sudden you start hating women and then once you start hating women <laughs> that leads you right back <laughs> to the incel spot I don't, no i don't think i'm gonna start hating women i want to stress that because okay. i have the opinion that um I think with like the red pill, because you have there's the two sides. There's like women who are like, I hate men. Men are, men are all toxic. And then you have the men being like, women are all toxic. True. The problem with that is that there's no communication there. Yeah. True. There's no, there's no like, um, instead of shouting at each other across the internet and in person saying that we're just all toxic people, why don't we, like adults, mm-hmm. have a healthy conversation? Yeah. Women will have their own problems and things that they don't like about men. And men will have their own problems and opinions that they don't like about women. Mm-hmm. So why don't, why doesn't everyone just discuss them, sort of communicate and hash things out and sort of set like specific like r- r- rules and like boundaries of like, okay, maybe we need to be more uh, open-minded 
and more tolerant tolerating because the whole i hate women i hate men does nothing no. it's just it's a waste that's a very good point that communication is the sort of essential for everything and that, that, that is a very good point that there is no communication it is just two sides that both feel passionately about their thing just shouting mm-hmm. at each other which won't get you anywhere that's a very good point However, so I'm not in sale <laughs> <laughs> not yet not yet <laughs> god damn you know, just... I, I don't think Jordan Peterson is um, he, he doesn't he, he doesn't like he's not conducive of incel behaviour the man's got the man's got a wife and he's got two kids. Like he's not like he doesn't, <laughs> true, he, doesn't true. He, he doesn't say that he hates women. The people like and it's like people like um, is it Andrew Tate. You know, you know the guy who's like depression isn't real. No, you've not seen him. No. He's like a very red pill guy. Okay. I mean, he's very successful. Like he he's obviously he obviously knows something. Like mm. he's like a multi millionaire. Yeah, um, there's there's like a viral clip of him. Um, and he's saying like, there there is some of a logic to it. Um, saying that like, I don't believe in depression, so I can't get depressed. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good for you, he, mate. He he, he, gave, he gives the analogy of um. Uh, two people in like a haunted house. One believes in ghosts. One doesn't. So when one hears like, a crackle or like a a, a, a branch blown in the wind the person who believes in ghosts gets scared and thinks oh it's a ghost the person who doesn't believe in the ghost thinks um, oh it's just a wind blowing yeah so I can, I can sort of sort of see where he's coming from there but on the other side depression is real yeah. <laughs> that's like well I don't believe in cancer so the thing that's killing my body and has given me two months left to live isn't cancer it's like yeah it it, it, a lot, it is definitely a lot in the mind like how you perceive and think but also people are just, you, you, you can't get the press like positive mindset like he that's what he's, i think that's the message behind what he's saying is having a positive mindset uh, but depression is still real like just because you have a positive mindset doesn't still mean others can't get depressed or it's 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 a fake thing yeah I, like i think what he's trying to say is like there's i feel like there's some good from what where it comes from yeah yeah of course but the way that he is doing it is no like it, yeah i think that's a stupid claim to make and to push that out as a multi-millionaire is bad i think a lot of people in that sort of environment don't understand the effect that their words have and so they will say a lot of random bullshit get a few things right but there's a lot of bullshit and you only ever see the clips of them saying the good things, but all the people that go to the shows and all that stuff, they'll get the bullshit as well, which is, Mm. it's like, I think that sort of culture has a very good um, intention, but I think the performance and the way they do it isn't correct. Well, maybe not correct. I don't think it's beneficial for the most part. It's a sticky thing when you start talking about people's mental health and you start using the words real and not real. <laughs> like, that's never going to put you on a good place. No, no. It's like the use of normal when you're talking about things because no one can ever say this is normal. It's just this is what the most people do or this is what most people go through. Mm-hmm. Is there a, Could you defi- define normal aside without saying it's just what most people do? I don't, I don't know, mate. Not really. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's, 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 a, you it's can't, a subjective thing. Yeah, if it's if, yeah, I think it is subjective and uh, dependent on the person. Like, what's normal to me might be different. What's normal to you, mm-hmm. like my normal morning routine, my is different to your normal morning routine. Yeah, the same yeah, thing goes for everyone else. Yeah, that's why you see like um, what's got year seven kids and. You know, the, do you remember the, like, SW, SJW feminist era on YouTube? Like, I stole that point from them, which is, <laughs> it is a good point. That's the thing. No matter what, unless you're, like, bad, bad, even on the opposition, they'll still have some good points. So, 
that it takes back to the communication point. That's why that is so much is so important because I have a lot of wrong points, but I do have some good things. You have even more wrong points, but slightly <laughs> less good things. So if we talk and communicate, <laughs> then we'll work out. Yeah. Sneeko. Sneeko's an insult. Uh, Sneeko's, on, think Sneeko's, Sneeko's an, insult? an insult. Yeah, I saw a podcast clip about him talking about women, and I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was just like, damn. What is? He's gone too far. He's gone past the point, and he's now on the path to incelness. Do you think? Yeah. I... I there are a few sneaker videos that I really like. Yeah, I do. I do like sneaker, but most of them are bullshit. I think he, he he pisses me off because he just puts this like sort of fake deep mindset about things, and like he, he, uh, he when creators that you used to like start becoming commercialized, then they sort of I feel like they sell out without selling out. That's what I think sneakers done. How do you sell out without selling out? Without, I mean, when I say sell out, I mean, is in without selling out. Like he hasn't sold himself to a brand. Right. He's not, but he's sold his actual character because he knows that when I do this, this gets more views. So I'm going to make this my personality, but it's not necessarily actually me. Yeah, it always seemed like um, maybe it's just it's just, people change. Like it's a natural. It could be a natural mm. progression of his personality, but um, like it always seemed he had a questioning sort of mindset like of questioning everything like even when he was like that 16 uh, 16 year old video of himself no the video of himself at 16 mm-hmm. uh he was still like questioning like where he's like shaving his head and, yeah like, yeah it's, like, the, it was quite good video- videography like he's, he's a good videographer like, i like mm-hmm. um the way his videos are made and like just like random like clips the, the one minute podcast is good as well yeah the one minute podcast is good but that is sort of that's him getting content off other people it's like he just sits there and maybe like asks a question and then he'll... But he still interacts with them. No, obviously he's not just like for a minute and a half. Like yeah. I, but I feel like he, ha- he the cons that way, the pros of the Sneeko. The video, do you watch the video of him and that woman who was shouting at him in the bus stop? Yeah, that, that was, was funny. A fun, that's a funny video. That are, he is funny. Yeah. I just don't agree with his ideology, which is a tricky one. It's the same with music when I hate like XXXTentacion couldn't listen to his music before he died because he was a piece of shit but the music's good can you separate the products from the con like the character that's up to yourself i suppose yeah it's on your moral what did you think about the, that video of sneaker where he's like shouting that, that, woman. that woman was shouting at him oh uh, yeah but i think i don't <sighs> did you agree with sneaker or did you agree with the woman um well I agree because it, he was just he was talking to other people yeah. and then she got involved and started calling him stupid and saying all these different things and I was like ah, saying that, th- that these girls are lying and it's like there yeah, they might be but you, that you're, it's not your position to say mm. you, if he had come up to you I was like what do you think and then you start and then you have that reaction it might not be the best reaction to have but you're entitled to have a reaction because he's interacted <laughs> with you mm-hmm. he only started interacting with you when you started responding to something that wasn't intended f- for you so it's like, uh, oh, did you see his, um, you know, in the they try and film in the bar, and they don't let him in. Yeah, the second video where they they met up again. Yeah, and they yeah. Sort of, like spoke again. Did you see all the backlash that came from him going in the bar, like the woman saying she'll sue him and stuff like that? Oh uh, yeah, they had. There was like, basically, she was saying that she was going to get hit, like lawyers and stuff because he filmed her on the out when she came outside, and yeah, obviously her points bullshit like they're filming on the street mm-hmm. but um the way he reacted to that was also not very good he was just sort of like what's what like slander he was just talking shit about her for the full thing it's like yeah i understand having a bad reaction being like yeah this dumb bitch <laughs> but when he's just going in on her for a whole video and like uh sneaker pisses me off who who is like fuck, i keep uh, stuttering who's a content creator that you like that isn't on part of that um mind like red pill blue pill the sort of hamza sort of train who do you like do you still watch any content that isn't pushing that i can you watch like boxing content yeah um the martial mind or whatever his name what was that guy's name bon martial arts that's it yeah. i haven't no, I watched him in a while oh i liked him um not really no um i'll, I'll watch like I'll, like on youtube i listen to music like if i see a song like come up but ma- mainly I d- it's like hamza First man, there's a guy called Alicia Long. Um, they're like self improvement YouTubers. They're really good, to be fair. Um, I've told you the quote: um, "You are 
the average of the five most people's content you consume. Oh, oh, so it's content you consume and people you hang out with. Mm-hmm. I was about to finish the quote and then be wrong. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that makes sense. It it's the same thing, isn't it? Because when you're hang choosing to hang out with the people, you're consuming whatever stimuli they give off. So I suppose it's that that makes sense. If you notice, like usually, like say you're hanging out with someone for a while, you start saying the same things, don't you? Yeah. And when like a YouTuber yeah. says these like m- phrases and whatnot, you start saying these phrases as well. And you probably don't realize how that brushes off. Mm. But like, yeah, a lot of it's subconscious. You should be mm. as well as the, ca- the people you hang around with. You should be careful of the people you watch on YouTube and listen to on like Spotify mm. or the podcasts you watch because it will really influence you. Even if like you hate that person, you're just like consuming to hate them. Like you're like just like watching. You're watching Sneaker and being like, "Fuck that guy." Yeah, you're still consuming Sneaker content. Like that's still being like ingrained in your brain, and you're probably gonna start maybe acting a bit more like sneaker maybe saying some Uh-oh. of the things he says oh no um well that's a good or bad thing it's up to you yeah um yes yeah, so what be selective for you watch on youtube only watch us that's yeah. that's the moral of the story because yeah, we're not pretending to know what we're on about yeah. <laughs> the name of the podcast yeah, is literally <laughs> biased like, uneducated you can't say we've, we've said anything wrong because you came to the, the channel saw that the name is biased and uneducated and prejudiced you can't expect anything from us, you know what I mean? <laughs> we covered all bases with that name. <laughs> I thought of it. I've literally come up with everything for this podcast. Incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. <laughs> name two things you've come up with. All the jokes. I came up with the channel trailer. That was me. That 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 was the my one, idea. The one. Yeah, which was okay. the best scene in it. Okay. I know, apart from the ones that where I'm in it as well. <laughs> Um, is that I edited it <laughs> you did edit it you, I, I'm not saying like I know you do all the hard work but you offered and I've asked if I can help you say no so I've said yes I've given you ways of you can you can help yeah I don't know doing them I came no, with no I came with like, that was a good idea what I came up with the other day you got that was what? a good idea well, I can't just say it on the podcast <laughs> dickhead you didn't, come with it. you didn't go with anything no, yes I did well Fuck off, I can't talk to what? you. No, don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm like, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening to me. <laughs> what was the um, best, like, primary school insult, if you can remember it? Just deeper than this. Yeah, so if you came from um, Liverpool, wasn't it? So it was calling each other gay <laughs> and then um, threatening to stab each other. <laughs> <laughs> Getting chefed up. Shank. Shank is a funny word, I it think. It probably was, like, I'll smash your face in or something like that. Heavy. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Mad that you came from like the ends. Nah, I definitely didn't come from the ends. Like realistically, Tucky. I was still fortunate. I still yeah. had the roof over my head. Like I still had food to eat. Okay. Yeah, I'm not saying you're homeless. I'm just saying like. Yeah, like I did not come from like the ghetto. I, it was, I did live in shit areas in Liverpool. In poorer areas, but not like the poorest. Yeah. Where would you say is the ghetto in Liverpool? Like Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, For Zerk, Kirby. Yeah. Um, like like Childwall. Don't know where Childwall is. Um, I used to live in Waver Tree. Waver Tree. That was a bit of a shit hole. That was a shit hole. Um, anything that has um plants in the name normally tends to be a rough area. That's the sort of trend I've seen. Where else? What, like um, oh, fuck no. Like there's the dodgy place in Lee, or you know the dodgier place in Leeswood. It's something like Leaf, or there's some. It's Norris like Green. Norris, not Norris, Norris Green. green yeah. True, true, true. I'm sure that's the only green in Norris Green. <laughs> <laughs> God, what was that? Like, you always talk about Norris Green versus Crocky Crew. What was that actually about? Was it just a gang war? Yeah, you, have you seen like Little Boy Blue? Oh, yeah. It was like yeah. that Reese boy who got like yeah, shot got in like a conflict. Kid, yeah. Which is fucked up. You just like coming in from football. <sighs> it, yeah, but it's. It's just heavy. It, it, it is heavy. There's so much bullshit like that when you see like fourteen year olds getting shot in shops because they were just there. It's like come on, it's wrong place, wrong time. Just getting caught up in bullshit, and then you get thought in the court loop of thought in the court loop. You get caught in the thought loop of, you know, what would have happened if literally if I, if I tied, five seconds yeah if I tied my shoelaces when I could have. <sighs> it's it's awful. It's also the, the the family side of what if like. I did this with them, and so they end up going out. All their friends side of saying, "Oh, what if we hung out for another five minutes?" 
Yeah, where survivor guilt is That's difficult. Fucked up. It's it's a it's a, like I don't think it's talked about enough. Survivor guilt because basically everyone that goes through the experience and survives feels it. Unless you're a cold heartless bastard, you're not going to be like, well, I could have done this or I could have done that. It's like that um sort of um uh, like there's two people on a cliff. You can only choose one. Yeah, yeah. Like, and regardless, if they're like like two like so two of your best friends are on the edge of a cliff and you can only pick up one, you're always gonna have that guilt of I saved them but I could have saved them. They're they're gone now. And it's also like the person who got picked up would be like, You should have chosen the other guy. Yeah. Or if they were like selfish, but like, Thank you for choosing me, you sh- you should not like, you, you should not have chosen that guy. <laughs> See, yeah, this is the thing. I feel like no matter who you pick, the relationship with that person that you picked is going to be changed forever. Oh, yes. I don't think you're going to have a relationship with that person. No. It, which is fucked up. It's like um, in, in the TV show, the Little, little Boy Blue TV show, the t- TV show that was based off of uh, Reese who got shot, they showed how, like, the parents, like, they split, or they couldn't, they couldn't, like, stay with each other afterwards because of how, like, how much of a shock it is to lose, okay, lose yeah. your child. And I imagine it's the same in, like, lose a, lose a friend. Yeah, God, yeah. It it can either like it's the make or break, isn't it? I feel like if you lose a friend, the other friends will probably get closer. But if you're directly involved, like if you killed someone with a friend by accident, a pretty you know bad fun situation. But um, I don't think you're you're still gonna be friends with that person afterwards. Imagine that they'd feel like a a hole in the friendship group. Like the whole yeah. dynamic would change, especially like the first like oh my God, yeah, weeks course. or months, or even just permanently. Just like, can you imagine going to common room and like, I don't know, Joe Gomes died. Oh, fucking hell. Imagine Any, anyone, Matt Johns died. Yeah, and then oh, some dickhead comes in like, where's Matt? <sighs> you just have to spark him. <laughs> oh. You know, that's, uh, that, uh, that's a like, thing you think, the thing about it is sort of like, ooh, you kind of have to appreciate people where you got them, you know? Yeah, you do. I, I saw a quote and it was like, you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Yeah. And it's like, damn. That's for real. That's, that for, for that's real. facts. And it's, it's, it's literally only until, like, even, like, like, you always hear, like, oh, make sure you make most of your time with your parents and your grandparents. Because, like, realistically, because that's advice from people who have now lost their grandparents and parents. Mm-hmm. For someone like us who haven't lost their parents, you don't, you probably you won't appreciate the time as much that we've got now until they pass, which is f- which is fucked up. No, yeah, it's the it's the novelty graph, isn't it? The novelty is it's highest before you get it, the lowest once you've got it, and then high again when you don't have it anymore. It's like that's so why I, I try. I, I want to spend as much time with my grandma, yeah. or my grandparents as much as I can. Yeah, it's like I'm really, you, don't, just, you don't know when they're gonna go, do you? So yeah. just like I also, I try and like remind myself to be grateful about it mm-hmm. I think I think it's important for everyone should do that if you've still got any family members any friends just like imagine imagine to yourself that you wake up one day and all of your friends and family are dead <laughs> right Jesus. you would be so much more it's, it's, it's a horrible thought to do to, mm-hmm. to have but you would be so much more grateful like you, you'd be so much more happy to see them Oh, oh, yeah, you would be okay. so much more grateful I'm for grateful the time you spend dead. with them and you would be so much more involved and present in the time you spend with them rather than just taking it for granted and being like oh you're right mate just trying to think yeah yeah true they um do you think Pulp Fiction not Pulp Fiction a Fight Club yeah yeah you know how that's like that's what they do they pretend that they're gonna shoot people and they take their IDs and then obviously let them go and then um they're like they're living the dream for the next couple of days because they thought that they were about to die and you would wouldn't you if you knew you had like a week left to live and you were still in like fine health mm-hmm. and you could do anything within reason like have in good space what would you do so I'm fine until the week and I just yeah you're just gonna drop okay. painless you don't have to fear it at all it's just gonna be like oh okay probably attack a few people yeah fucking hell who'd you attack first you don't have to say the name. Well, actually, no. I want to. I want to hear. You can bleep it <laughs> I'm out. Have to edit that again, aren't I? Oh, well, just don't. Depends how big your balls <laughs> are. Uh. <laughs> I was only because it'd be easy. Uh. Keep that in.
I wouldn't want to just do in random people on the street because oh like, yeah no no, no. I wouldn't yeah, yeah that's just assault no one no benefit from that but there are certain people who deserve it. Uh, who's a twat? Who is a twat? Mm, maybe like mm. apparently they they apparently they are absolute pussies. Yeah, I know. I've heard stuff about um, what's his name. Apparently, apparently, saw one of his mates getting beat up and then turned around and walked off. Even, even, uh, damn. It's it's always the, it's always the people who act the hardest. Yeah, the loudest in the room is the loneliest. It's the same, like that sort of people who try the hardest are the like. It's just an insecurity thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, I should put up an act. Like, a, it's like a, it's a self defense thing. Mm-hmm, the coping mechanism. It's like a, yeah, they do they want to protect themselves, really, isn't it? Like, they don't want to. Have people perceive them as being the weak. weak one? Yeah, which is, it's crazy the different like social dynamics and things that you never think about until you actually think about. It. You know, what I mean, you just understand that that's how it works. That's why uh, trooms are cool because it's like it makes you think about like, oh yeah, huh? It takes you back a sec, or at least it does for me. Um, what do you mean by that? Like the social dynamics. The so social dynamics. You know how say like social cliques and you get groups and you're like I know who's in my group we didn't know it wasn't like a sign up sheet and like oh yeah, do you, yeah, do you yeah. come join this group it's like oh I'm just gonna hang out with you because we get along more than you get along with them and so all these people are like oh yeah he, he, that's just how he is you don't think about why is he like that and he and how he is with his friends or how his friends are as a group that those sort of little social dynamic things there's interesting to think about but yeah I've heard that they are not apparently Keen's got better because he I, like I've seen him in the gym like I saw him in the eye a couple times when I went apparently he, he like seems okay with like Regan and stuff but I think, I think they were always friends oh yeah probably but I know I know Regan used to not be too nice either no which is no. like I like I like Regan's character <laughs> yeah it, seeing people post uh, year 11 another they're in sixth form or college or apprenticeships or on the street, <laughs> on the street. <laughs> being a bum um, it's a lot people are a lot nicer now yeah 100% like, back in like year 11 like a lot of people are just twats for no reason like just for being a twat like yeah they all feel like they feel the need to compete with each other and it's like the, no one cares now it's a lot like everyone seems more chilled out and I, I, I'm, I'm I fuck with it yeah, I, I I like it as well. There doesn't seem to be. Well, no, no there are definitely people six I don't like. like. You see all the girls and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, like they're f- no, I can't even say they're fine because they're mean. They're mean people. My friend, I don't think they actually like each other. And it's, no, they definitely like chat shit behind each other's back. Which is so like, I know I do it about you, but like that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> God, would you? What would you do? If you found out that I had been actually like not even just like oh yeah loser pussy like I mean actually chatting shit be like yeah I really don't like where he pisses me off. I'd speak to you about it. What'd you say? But yo, I've heard you got a problem with me. What's the problem? Well, if I was like yeah I just I hate you. I think you're a bitch. I've never liked you. <laughs> She'd be like, I. In a bath bit. People. <laughs> Go home and cry. Yeah. See you later. What? Find a new podcast guest. You couldn't get one. Oh, so what the fuck do you mean new podcast guest? Am I just a recurring <laughs> guest that comes on for nine episodes? Yeah. yeah. Fuck off. You're my co-host, right? <laughs> I'm the host. Uh-huh. W- w- I-, I ask you this question quite a lot because I am always interested. Aside from the obvious, the last one we talked about, what would it take for you to hit me? Not, I'll be hit you anyway. You're only sparring. Like. Yeah, true, true. But like, Not much. Do you think if I was just like, going in oh god keep around, how fucking awkward it would be if we're like sitting in the common like with people and I just decide to go in just not it's not even funny at this point and just saying every mean thing about you I can think of would that make you just like in the moment slap me or something maybe depend. yeah it depends how far you went yeah fucking hell I, I, I've always been quite nervous about that like sometimes like if someone just starts like trying like complete shit to you like in front of everyone like all the, someone who knows all of his secrets and just starts like shouting them yeah. out at you and just like yeah wait, that that's a sticky one 
because that, that, that's what I mean there's a lot of social things you have to think about there you have to think about right what's everyone thinking about me now what's everyone thinking about him what will they think about if I do this that or this so you got to learn to not give a fuck yeah it, uh, when you don't give a most fuck fr- like, freeing thing. like it's it's a beautiful feeling like you know it's something you have like a, like a good gym session or something and you're feeling like the king Aloof, like you, you, you yeah. care what people think do you you just walk in you're like I've got a sick fucking pump right now. I'm looking massive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. In the dream. Yeah. And then the days when you just like feel like shit. You're th- that's when your anxiety is like, what is everyone thinking about me? What what if I do this now? Like you know what they're gonna think. Yeah. About what I'm doing. Removing that sort of social anxiety is is key to like feeling good about yourself. But the way to do that is like anything. You have to kind of put yourself in the situation until you don't feel like it anymore. Like, you just have to not let the fear, like, overwhelm you while you're in that situation, and then it will go away. I saw, um, there was a TED Talk, and it was a guy, and he was like, um, so I've always, like, he's like, this guy's like, oh, I've always had, like, really bad social anxiety, so I decided I'm going to start doing things that I really don't want to do. And one of the things he did was, um, he went to, like, London, uh, what's, like, the main bit of London? Um, Camden? Camden's a pretty big part of London. Like, no, like, the... Like where the shops are, like maybe where like there's a lot, like it's quite like a quite. Just imagine like a quite busy place, like a busy street in London, near like a fountain or something, and he just he like lay down on the floor. Weird, yeah, that's odd. Yeah, can you imagine? Like, just think, imagine yourself doing that now. That'd be pretty scary. It just goes go like down on the square. So I keep hitting this t-shirt behind me, no, but like just lying down in the middle. In I, th- I think the difference between down on the square is not very busy usually. Imagine on market day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just going to like a busy public place and just like just lying down on the floor, like that takes balls to be fair. Like but it does take a lot of balls. That's something I'd never even think about. Yeah, he he, he said balls. um the first like two minutes he was like fuck 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 you know, everyone's looking at me and after a while he was just he was just chilling on the floor like yeah he didn't care and he kept doing that and he kept doing other things like, outside of his social comfort zone and he said that like seriously helped his mental health and like. Like his social skills. Yeah, I th- I think it definitely would. You got to do what excites. That's that seems always the way. But it's always so difficult to do things that are scary. Like mental scary yeah. is so much worse than physical scary. I feel like that's um, more important to train. Yeah. Like in the gym, like your ment the like pushing yourself mentally rather than physically is more important than like getting fucking huge. Yeah. So if you're training in the gym, it's sort of like right that's about willpower and determination and keep to keep going but i mean especially like doing something that you're like oh this could hurt like see Shit. skating is a good example of it because it's like i have to fully yeah. commit to this trick otherwise i will hurt myself and even if i do fully commit to this trick, i can still hurt myself that's so difficult to try and get over because it isn't just like a right this is going to suck for a bit but I'll keep going it's like a you have to take that leap of faith I think that's important for everyone to have in their life. You, you've got to have that something that scares the shit out of you mm-hmm. and do it. Like, actively look for something that scares you and go and do it. I probably don't do this myself enough. No, we need um, to. But I, but I probably should do. Probably, probably listen to my own advice and become a much better person if, yeah, I, if I actually did it. Yeah, scaring ourselves. Um, stop what? I so said we should start scaring ourselves. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 we should. Um, I th- for personal character development, I think getting outside of your comfort zone socially, physically, and mentally every day mm. is very important. Yeah. What sort of things do you scare you? Like what socially? Aside from like you know the obvious. If I was, if I had to like scream in the common room, <laughs> like you, know, you should do that. Just like scream. Like just everyone's like chatting in the common room and just go. Ah! oh god see yeah see this is the thing like there are certain things that you just can't do not even because they scare you just because it's like even if you don't give a fuck it's still weird to do yeah like think about oh my god imagine if you did that imagine the silence because no one's gonna everyone laugh just look at, everyone's just looking like you're like are you good and then the the bit where the silence, people start talking again, but it isn't how it used to be. It wasn't free flowing conversation. They're getting back into it, and it's like, imagine how red you'd go. Oh god, 
That'd be all. I fuck that. Maybe if you provide context on the podcast, so next week. <laughs> Yannick is going to stand up in the common room right. I'm like, is Yannick <laughs> and he's going to gonna scream at the top of his lungs well seeing as everyone in school watches our podcast <laughs> and if they don't then you're not a real friend nope. not, snake yeah they'll know the context, the context it's all good mm-hmm. I'll do that and then Louis going to get naked in the middle of the common room as well that's what he said to me no <laughs> That is too far outside the comfort zone. Yeah, that's like illegal. That, yeah, that is, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever mooned anyone? No, I don't think so. I haven't, but it sounds fun. <laughs> like, I I imagine that's something that we should do at some point. <laughs> I've got a picture on my camera of, of Joe mooning the camera. Joe. <laughs> that's funny. Like, like a shop window or something. Oh, like a cafe. Yeah. Like an old people's cafe. Oh. <laughs> Just god <laughs> on, the, on the window mm-hmm. and then, you look the way <laughs> yeah see that's a, it's like you're we're apparently the gay ones because we saw you mooners oh but yeah you whipped your ass out in front of us <laughs> like god damn. i think that's something like luke gillard would do yeah oh my fu- oh, luke i remember gillard he used to like oh. run past like the computing rooms and he would just like he would like hit the window and he would just scream the n-word yeah it was awful <laughs> like funny at the time obviously because you've just seen a kid run past bang the window and scream the n-word like that is objectively funny when you're in a lesson but bad that it is yeah yeah god you're fucking the gillards go back to things that would scare me well like, maybe just like Usually, just like it's just going to someone you don't know and like trying to start a conversation with them is pretty scary. Yeah, for for me, I don't I routinely do that. So, yeah, I've I like I've met a lot of people at the skate park, and so like I've I've had to do that. Yeah, and it, it's weird because sometimes they don't want to talk to you, and it's yeah. like, come on, man, I'm trying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> at least be polite. Yeah, but they're, they're like you just get nothing from them. Or it's when um I'm like, oh hey man, I'm Yannick. Nice to meet you. And they're like, yeah, nice to meet you. And then I then have to ask Ooh. what your name is. It's like, just tell me what... I've told you yeah. what my name is. I've said yeah, it's nice yeah. to meet you. Just tell me what your fucking name is. And I'd be like, so so what's your name? And it's just like, oh, I feel so awkward doing yeah. it. It's That bit's harder than starting the initial conversation, I think. Maybe that as well, because it's not natural. Yeah. Yeah, something that, something that you're not... It breaking your routine it, for something that scares you. That Yeah, maybe you should like... I know. Do you shower? Not shower. Do you brush your teeth before or after you eat? In the morning. Yeah. Uh, I brush my teeth after. Yeah, I, I also brush my teeth after, but apparently you're supposed to brush your teeth before. But I feel gross. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like my breath is just gonna smell like cereal or whatever. Yeah. And then my foods are gonna taste nice. True. Because it's gonna taste minty. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, no I, I want to. I want to enjoy my breakfast. Yeah, breakfast is the most. I love that. Meal breakfast of the day. is my favorite meal of the day. Fair. So, is it, what, what is your favorite like breakfast food? Pancakes. Pancakes are a good one. Pancakes. Pancakes are very, but like crap or like American. Either I'll just fucking eat any pancake. Just give me some pancakes. Give me some like fruit. Yeah. Some like maple syrup. Sugar. Yogurt. Man. You put yogurt on a pancake. Yeah. Oh, yogurt slaps on a pancake. Like, f- like fruit yogurt. Any yogurt. Would you put as like, long as it's nice yogurt? Yeah. Would you put like Greek yogurt on it? Yeah. Just plain Greek yogurt. Yeah. Uh, plain Greek yogurt is great. It's like cheese. No, it's nice. Nah, I don't. I it's like high protein as well. Interesting. Why is yogurt high in protein? Like, what? What's the what? Where does the protein come from? Because like meat, I get. It's you know milk. what I mean? Like, but what in yogurt? Milk's, milk's quite high in protein, isn't it? Is it? I think I don't know. Probably. It's like it's an animal product, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. The um the energy chain in animals is very interesting. The fact that like how little we actually get from the grass when it's gone through the cow and then we eat the cow and then it's like. Like that's f- oh my! I understand why people are vegetarian, bro. That thing you were saying about Finn, I was actually thinking about the other day. I'm I'm kind of nervous. Oh, uh. like it, oh, I can't. I like I genuinely cannot be fucked with Finn. That's big. You know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> not, I'm just Finn, isn't it? Like I'm not last. I can still be. The, no offense, Finn. I can still be the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's the thing. Finn knows that. But he still he still manages to find a way to push every button I have. I I don't know what it is with Finn. He he just he has it. I like I noticed Sam tries to imitate it with Finn, and he's just not as good. Finn mm-hmm. is born to be a bitch. <laughs> Pisses me off. <laughs> Fuck you, Finn. 
Maybe you should ask Finn for your next your first MMA fight. I've already offered Finn out. Every time I see Finn, I'll end up offering him out because he'll start chatting shit. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Finn. Get him on the D side card. The D side. Yeah. Oh, the D side. Yeah. That would if like if that all pans out well, that could be cool. It's like a thousand people going or something, isn't it? Oh, that, that's what it's seat. Whether it will sell out is like. Yeah. I'll buy a seat. You better. I keep hitting the mic. Maybe me in the back and like just me like. Woo! When I get knocked beat, out. Beat him up. <laughs> beat Yannick up. Knock him out. Uh-huh. God, could you imagine? If I, I feel like if I got knocked out, I'd have to post it on my Instagram. Yeah. Just because it's like I have to. It's kind of funny. You, if you own it, then it's kind of like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's it's less embarrassing. Yeah, because if you can take the piss, it's like whenever you fall over, you've got to laugh. Yeah. Because it because it is also kind of funny. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny when the people like they fall over and you start crying. Oh my god, bro! Because it's, it's, it's awkward, like. You know, <laughs> but it's also kind of like, we. Yeah. That this is see this is the thing that I wish I had to explain to young you and you never got was like whenever you were annoyed about or like whenever you did something your first sort of with everything your first response was anger like when we did that in I think it was in skills in Mr Greenhouse room and you did like the personality quiz and your anger bar was literally <laughs> off the chart like it went past the limit because your anger was so high like you know I made, I made fun of you and you try and hit me it was like what the, what the fuck that was, but I'm glad that you finally understand that it took me eight years <laughs> <laughs> it was a spiritual process it was yeah we had to start drinking and doing drugs <laughs> it did get, when you drank that first dark fruit on uh, top pitch that was your you know the pivotal moment <laughs> in your life <laughs> went downhill from there <laughs> yeah good question sorry um, I was just gonna say I need to piss really bad can we pause rec- uh, oh, yeah. so I can piss no. or just entertain the viewers while I'm gone for a minute I'll, uh, I'll pause it Gannis gone, guys. We can start chatting shit about him. <laughs> Mackenzie's called me. Same day, boy. <laughs> Yo, you're what? on the. You're live on the podcast. I don't. Hang on, the video is frozen. One sec. Hang on, the video is frozen. One sec. Oh, oh God, fuck. Why is this? Uh, quite a few people, I think. Yeah, you're live on the podcast. I don't know why the camera's frozen though. Hang on. Thanks, mate. See you in a bit, mate. Alright, see you in a bit, mate. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are we live? Are we, are we Alright, we're back after the yo. video malfunction. Yeah, sorry, guys. Probably my fault. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Although, imagine, think about it. Jack and you'd have noticed, like, in time, if I hadn't have left. That's a good, that's a good shout. Yeah. That's a reason, bro. Exactly. <laughs> right, let's get comfy. Yeah, get comfy, yeah. guys. Part two. Get your uh, popcorn. Did you see how long the first part was? Yeah. How long? 53 minutes. Ooh. Now it's going to be a long one, boys. Yeah. All right. Where do you see yourself in one year, five years, and ten years' time? So bear in mind, in one year's time, we're going to be 18, almost 19. Five years, going to be 22 almost 23 mm-hmm. and in 10 years maybe 27 almost 28 in w- we'll break it down one year where do you what do you see what, what's going on in your life right one year I'm either in Thailand training to fight I'm either in a city saving to travel or I'm in mold saving to travel mm-hmm. or I'm working some bum ass job <laughs> I hate probably going to be doing that in all three mm-hmm. um, mm. in one year I'd like to think that'd be you know 
happy, 100%, you know, maybe not 100%, 100%, I don't think I'll ever be 100% happy, you know what I mean, there's always going to be that, like, tiny little bit of doubt, um, what about you, what's your one year plan looking like? Um, within a year, I see substantial progress within the brand, oh yeah, trading, I'm going to be riding your dick off the palace <laughs> thing, <laughs> Uh, I probably see a lot more progress in this, in this podcast. Yeah, hopefully. Um, hopefully, able to take the podcast and the business full time in a year. That would be sick. That would be uh, very That's sick. my goal. Please subscribe. Uh, <laughs> Please. Because, <laughs> um, like, now I'm sort of the way I'm this phase before I finish school and exams is I'm just laying down the foundations at the minute. I'm getting in the consistent routine of uploading and producing content. And slow, slowly growing. Once I'm on the summer, then it's I can allocate more time for content. And then once I'm in, out of like summer's finished and it's like September time, and I'm working three days a week, then I can start to really allocate. M- I can put more money. I can start running paid advertisements because that's when I plan on starting adverts mm. post September time, and then hopefully release some more products. From then, then specifically, I anticipate that. From there, we'll I will see some a lot more growth in the brand in the podcast. I reckon it's gonna be a good few more months, maybe the end of the year, when it really like because yeah. it's gonna it realistically it's gonna take about six or six or more months, typically with a lot of YouTube channels, before you see that big growth period. Yeah, we're still fucking waiting for that big growth period. Come on, guys, get your fucking move on. <laughs> <laughs> um, five years, five years could be. A lot. Five years is a big thing. Um, because five years, what, 23? 22, 20, 22, yeah. almost 23, yeah. I might go back to uni, for all I know, you know? Really? Potentially. I'm not going back. I've never been, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I might go to uni. So could you. Um, might have died in my travels. <laughs> <laughs> Got sex trafficked. Um, could be doing this full time. Could just be chilling. Living the dream, writing a blog or something. <laughs> um, Realistically, like we we can do that. There is possible. Yeah, I think I have a I have a lot of self doubt when it comes to goals. Yeah, I find it hard you to choose something off. because I don't think I'm good at anything. Mm-hmm. I don't think like the idea of me succeeding in life it seems so foreign to me, which is weird to think about. When you don't think that it can happen to you, it's not going to happen to you. Yeah, you got to be like, you know, start telling yourself, "Oh, I am going to succeed." And I, eventually, I like, fake, like, if you don't, even if you don't believe that you're going to succeed, you're keep to telling yourself that you will. And then one, you'll start to sort of develop the habits and adopt the habits of a successful person, uh-huh. which would then lead you to become a successful person. And two, it's just like the fake to make you kind of thing. Yeah. Like your body's going to start, your body and mind's going to start believing. Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to be successful then. You know, I need to make me feel like I'm going to be successful. Mm-hmm. God. And also, how you determine successful is a big thing, because when you determine it materialistically and external-wise, then it becomes a problem. Because once you achieve that, it's like, where do I go from next? Oh, okay. I yeah. think the main thing people need to focus on when it comes to being successful is goals and fulfillment. Like, what is what is your purpose, and to what extent have you fulfilled that purpose? then you can judge how successful you are. Not like, how many Lamborghinis do I have? How many mansions do I have? Mm. Yes, that is a somewhat of an indicator because you have made it with money. But money is not the only part of being successful. No. You can have all the money in the world but feel like a piece of shit. It's, money is just one pillar of success. There's a lot of it's mental health, it's relationships, and like your environment is like three incredibly important factors that is not considered when it comes to determining how successful you are yeah very fair very fair indeed the sort of per the idea of purpose it sounds like it could get pretty existential though like trying to think oh like i think the idea of individual purpose is too much for us to properly comprehend and i don't think it's important to think about not so much like what is your purpose i think the focus should be on what can i do not what am i supposed to do what am i meant to do like what why have i been put on this earth sort of okay i've got this what's the best thing i can do how can i satisfy myself how can i maybe help other people 
if that's what you want to do. So there's a lot of people don't want to do that. Um, because I think when you say purpose, purpose is, you know, this is what you've got to do. You've got one purpose in life. If you don't find out your purpose, then there's no point you live in. That's how my head interprets that. I think it's necessary for people to have a purpose. It's not like... It's not as if, like, you're... You, when you say you've got to do it, it's like you're being forced to do it. It's like you're sort of... The idea of you're destined to do this. This is your your purpose to be here. Like, everyone's got a reason to be here. We all fit into this... Not machine, because it sounds apocalyptic, but... Like... F- well-oiled... Machine, like, like system belt. not conveyor belt because then i don't like the idea of a conveyor belt but basically that's what that's what it is you know what i mean we are in this conveyor belt not conveyor belt because when you say the conveyor belt it's like the whole like school, school. college university get Work, a job debt life, die death. that no what is like like from a biological perspective a man's purpose and a woman's purpose is to reproduce right the the man the, biologically and stereotypically the man is like protect the pr- yeah the, pr- provide, the provider yeah. and protector and the woman is to n- nurture n- n- yeah. nurture and also also protect but in a dif- in a different way in a more yeah. feminine way that I feel like a good purpose if you if you if you don't know what your purpose is is just for a man have the purpose of how can I be the best father I can possibly be for when my child does arrive when my children do arrive. Imagine, imagine you've got nine months. Your girlfriend says to you, oh, I'm pregnant. You've got nine months to get your shit together. Oh, right? fuck. Right? Jesus. Because I'm kind of calling out my dad here. I always thought to myself, I am not going to be the father my dad was to me. Mm. From a young age, I've always thought that. And I think, I always thought I would treat my kids differently and I would be a much better father figure. Mm-hmm. I still don't really, I still really class him as a father figure. You you don't really. He's my he's my he's my dad, yeah. But, but he hasn't been. He's not present. been. Yeah. My dad, if that makes sense. Yeah. That, there's there's anyone can be a father. Like I could father yeah, any course. child, but not everyone can be a dad. I think I think that's a very good thing. Yeah. That's that's very. So there are a lot of habits from parents that I don't want, and I know there are some that I've definitely picked up. Mm-hmm. I think it's you'll see it, or you won't see it. Other people will see it, and then say so you're like you know your missus or your husband or whatever you decide Mrs. to get Larry. <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> <off. laughs> um, they'll be like the ones that notice it because it'll be mm-hmm. second nature to you. You're, it'll be entirely subconscious which is scary because whenever 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 anything is subconscious it's like you don't really have a choice it's just what there's just you right now and it can change it can pass but at the time it's like oh we gotta be careful that's why um introspectiveness is very important mm-hmm. like um self-reflection and like like journaling and like writing things out and like meditation and like gratitude that shit, shit like that is extremely important in developing yourself and sort of realizing your own flaws and also just commu- again communication with people to become a better person you need to have the humility and also the courage mm-hmm. to like truly like dissect how you are as a person and how you behave it, it takes a lot of courage mm-hmm. and also and to like when we talk about like past traumas how people act like how past trauma affects you and the how it even years later determines how you are as a person to be able to go back and do that it takes a lot of courage yeah for, yeah it, it's it's why um like ego death and shit like it scares people so much because it is scary to have to look at yourself and be completely honest yeah complete what's, what's the word impartial you can't there's no mm-hmm. sort of bias you just have to be like wow and I, I don't think I could, I think like that's why, you know, certain psychedelics can be used in such great ways because I couldn't do that right now. There's no way that I, I physically can't be unbiased. I'm either going to be far too critical or I'm going to not be critical enough. So it's a sort of vehicle for that in a sense. Yeah, yeah, basically. Allowing yeah. to do that. Yeah, it's, I think it's a necessary tool for it, mm-hmm. which is why obviously, you know, like pr- 
pro legalization. Like, why do shrooms five times a, a week? <laughs> Spend all my wages and all the money on psychedelics. No, but that's the best thing about psychedelics is that anti-addictive because they literally you can't get addicted. No, no, you can't. You, you, you can't, guys. You can't. Well, I mean, actually, no, there are probably some people that are addicted. Like, well, see, this is the thing. It, it's anti-addictive because I've I've never done a psychedelic and then woke up the day after me, like I want to do that immediately again. Like mm-hmm. I, they chemically you cannot get addicted to it. Right, okay. Obviously, like, weed, you definitely can. Mm-hmm. And you're dependent. There's all different fucking terms and shit. Like, you're addicted mm-hmm. at the end of the day. Um, but, like, it's one of the things, it's like, they won't create a chemical addiction. That's what they won't do. That, um, so that they are, they're useful in that sense. People, like, treat all sorts of things with the drugs that are illegal. And it's like, if you're clearly able to use it in a beneficial way, then we should be allowed to take it eight times a day. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with legalization is just as long as you make sure there's enough education around it. Yeah. As long as you. Yeah. The, education is the most important. Just the honesty. Honesty is the best policy. Oh, like, honesty is the best policy, right, and guys? It, it's always a lot of the time telling the truth is also very difficult. It can be very difficult. Yeah. But it's all pretty much always the best case scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. Like, the truth hurts a lot of the time. It can be blunt, and it's like, you might not want to say it because you might want to protect yourself, or you want to protect the person you have to say it to, but it will all work out eventually. Yeah. Just, the thing is, if you're, if you say you've done something and you don't want to tell it to someone, don't do those things. Yeah. That's how, that's how you get out of that, like, oh, but, you know, it's going to hurt for you. Don't do the thing in the first place. Yeah. Or if you have to go through that experience and then there comes a situation where you might do that thing again, remember how you had to tell that person that thing mm, you did. Yeah. And think, right, oh, okay, the short-term gains do not outweigh the long-term cons. Mm-hmm. That's, that's Accountability. Accountability. Keeping yourself fucking... accountable. Keeping yourself accountable is extremely difficult. Bro, accountability, oh my God. <laughs> Here's one of my bigot- bigoted opinions. Girls can't take accountability. That's one of my big, bigoted opinions. I'm saying bigoted, I was going to say sexist, misogynistic. Girls can't take accountability. It's what I've seen. It's diff- it, trying to make a girl take accountability. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we not elaborate on that? Or? Maybe No, we're not going to elaborate on it. Um, because I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my family my family weren't too happy that time I said I hate women on Instagram. <laughs> what? Yeah, I am. Um, I, I shout out Jordan. I was like, I hate women except this one. Uh, and obviously because of that, that meant uh, my sisters and my yeah. mother were like, oh, you hate us? You hate us? Wow. Mm. My sister was fuming about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, no. I'm just going to go on a misogynistic rant. So you should probably stop me uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't bring it back to the, where do you see yourself? Oh yeah, fuck, we completely derailed that. Didn't no, we? no, it's sound. Um, so back to the, the purpose thing is, the, 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 the got to keep my mic close to my mouth. I yeah, keep, we do. I, yeah, I do this. I, I can just see the green bar making yeah, noise. We focus on moving it. We've about. probably done this quite a lot, and for like without realizing. Yeah, sorry guys. Stop the like audience from hearing. Yeah, us. We're, we're not used to have to hold your own mic. Yeah, purpose is uh, just quickly starting on the purpose. Um, the like how you can be the best father, how you can be the best mother you can be to a child like because realistically for us to create good people mm-hmm. we need to be good ourselves yeah we have to teach by example and like when you're a shit person chances are your kid's gonna be a shit person as well mm-hmm. like i w- i would want my kid to be mentally strong socially active physically active and i got a good person you know a good member uh, you know a good contributing member of society not like a delinquent he just is a bum yeah yeah you don't want a kid that's a bum like i imagine as a parent it's a very hard conversation to have if you have to tell your kid that you don't have a life i suppose you can't tell your kid that can you you can but it's it's yeah it it is tough It it would be tough i don't i don't even know how you'd approach that i feel like that's a very that's a potential relationship severing sort of conversation to have yeah, being a parent does not sound easy that's why I just don't want to do it it sounds like so much work for like th- three moments of feeling proud in your life <laughs> about this kid <laughs> oh god I, think, I don't think we, we can't understand it yet 
we haven't been, we haven't been a parent to to to. Well, I've I've had fish. <laughs> 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 okay, so ten years. Dead. 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 Really? Yeah, I'd say a second time for the camera. I reckon. Yeah, join the Twenty Seven Club, bro. When I become rich and famous off this podcast and leave you in the dirt. And then I realize that I've got, I keep fucking doing this. And then I realize I've got no friends. And then I'm surrounded by yes men who just want me for my diamond rings yeah. and my drip. Then I don't think I'll be dead at 27, but I think I'll be in a sort of weird state. Did, I, like, did we say about five years? Did we talk about five years? Yeah, I said I think I want to be happy. Or oh, did I? I don't know. Five years, 23. Yeah, we did. We broke briefly. The, I, yeah, because I said I might go back to uni. Ah, uh, yes, did, yes, yes, yes. Okay. What did I ask you? No, but that's okay. I don't know <laughs> go on, go on. Tell me your five years. Uh, probably then I will be my like the hours I work one for the podcast. If it's still, I hope it's still going. Yeah. And two for the business. My working hours will be drastically reduced. So where I'm working like ten, ten hours a week max, and I can focus much more of my time because I because I can outsource hopefully be on about 10 20k a month that's that's the that's the financial plan and i'm gonna fucking work work hard as fuck so to realize that damn, you're gonna have people's annual salary monthly yes god that that, that would be fucking sick though wouldn't it if i was only 20k a month i believe i'm capable of that within five years five years within five years i believe i'm very capable of that are you gonna share the wealth no even though I made this podcast. <laughs> it's funny. Once, still at this one off, right? We could just be like, let's go and do an episode in Japan, I don't know, Australia. Just take a laptop, take a mic, take a camera. What's up, guys? We're here on the beach in Sydney. Yeah. Loving Fucking it. good eye cunts. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Um. That's, that's why I see myself in five years. Within where I am, like location wise, I don't know. But I imagine I'm not going to be, I'll be flexible with my location, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe I'll, I'd have like a sort of like base, base kind of like small home where I could run everything. And then I'd maybe have another property, maybe. Mm-hmm. Damn, in five years. In five years. Five me. years, you're going to own property. <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon we should get a podcast laptop? And so we can just like... Because right now we could probably go to the France for like 100 quid. Get the Eurostar. Yeah. It's just because... This is the thing. Because the podcast is made as total zero pounds and zero pence. Sort of the idea... As of, 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 as of this moment. Yeah. Um, putting money... More money into it feels like... It feels wrong. Sometimes you have to spend money to make money. I feel like you always have to spend money to make money. Yeah. You you do yeah, and so. <sighs> well, it's that buying a laptop to be location independent isn't um necessary for the podcast to grow. It's just like we can. It's just our ability to film podcasts in different locations because we're kind of limited right now to being here because of my because of the computer. Yeah. With a laptop, then yes, we'll be location independent. Mm. That doesn't necessarily mean people are going to see. Oh, they're in France. Subscribe. Probably. They will. When, you know, they see the French beach when we only go to nudist beach. <laughs> you get content. Just some guy just, you know, walking. <laughs> and we're also naked, obviously, because you're not allowed on the beach otherwise. All publicity is good publicity, true, right? True, true, true. You, you would have clicked on that video? Yeah, you, of course you would. <laughs> that means we benefit. True, I'd click on that video. And because be rich as fuck, thank you. Because if you, because <laughs> be rich as fuck, like, you're probably not gonna have to see you peasants. No, true. Because when I'm living in Louis' house that he's bought, and he's <laughs> charging me twenty k a month for rent. <laughs> <laughs> what is your sort of? Because I feel like any more than a hundred k a year would change me for the worst. Do you think? There, there was a study about that. How how I can't remember what financial number it was. But it was a certain, uh, like, threshold mm-hmm. where once people started making over that much, it didn't necessarily impact their overall happiness because that much money isn't necessarily dependent on your friendships, your mental health, your family, like, everything else. Mm-hmm. So I think 
I would, once I got past a specific threshold or once I, like 100K, for example, I'd hope I'd be able to sort of then like where I'm, I would get to a financial position where I can give back to like a community. Yeah, that's, um, I, I saw someone else about that actually and it was money can buy you happiness, you just have to give it away. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. it's like when you're on, I, the guy was talking about it and he's like, when you're on MDMA and you have all of this happiness, you don't want to keep any of it to yourself. You want to spread the love and all that. Yeah. And so when your level is full, you can share it out to everyone. And so when my bank account, when I don't have to check my bank account because I'm like, oh God, uh, fuck <laughs> <the hell>. oh. <laughs> like, yeah, you're going to want to be able to, you know, help other people. Mm-hmm. And then that leads to the moral, like, yeah, I'm a good person because I do this. But the trap I catch myself in is, am I doing this because I know it makes me a good person or am I doing this to be a good person? Because as soon as you start thinking about mm. it, you're fucked. You can't do something 100% objectively to just be good mm. and to make things yeah. You can't do a good deed because there's the selfishness behind it. Yeah, I don't think there is a 100% selfless act. Even holding the door from someone, you expect a thank you. If you don't get a thank you, like, it's not a big inconvenience, but yeah, it's like, yeah. why didn't you do that? Yeah. Well, I suppose, yes, you're going to have that, you will have that, uh, what do you call it, that thought saying that, oh, I'm just doing this to benefit myself. But you do have to remember, when you're, when you're doing a selfless act, when you're benefiting another person, you're still True, that person benefiting benefits, another yeah. person. It's not as if I'm just doing it for myself. If I'm just doing it for myself, then I'm just, then no one benefits from it then. Yeah. But if I am, it's, it's a mutual gain. I get that self-respect and you get whatever I'm helping you with, then that's still better than just helping myself. Yeah, then no one getting help, I suppose. What do you think about people who film themselves giving money to homeless people? That's a bit like, look at me. Yeah, I think that's bullshit because imagine being a homeless man and then you're getting like <laughs> this in the face as you're like offered money and you're, you've just had your third shot of heroin for the day because there's nothing else to do. Like, it's awful. I mistreating of the homeless part of people is, is one of like you know makes me angry and you see it all the time people just don't care because it's not them they don't realize how easy it would be for them to actually get in that position if three events happened I, I would like to help once I got to uh, 90k a month <laughs> <laughs> once I got to a certain financial income level I I definitely would like to help communities and shit. Like I would like to give back. Um, I'd love to go to like, like uh, like Africa or something. Like live with a tribe and like help them out. Have like a village out or something. That'd be sick. I w- I think about that quite a lot because we had that like Tanzania thing, didn't we, in school that never went through because of COVID. Um, like, what what are you supposed to do if you don't speak the language? Like, in that sort of sense, is there always going to be an interpreter on site? I think it. it it doesn't have you don't have to be able to communicate through language. You can always just like boy language and like acts of kind, uh, uh, like physical acts. Like you, 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 yes, there's that language barrier, but I'm sure you'll get over that language barrier. Like, am I? There's plenty of people who travel the world and they go to countries where they don't because they obviously not everyone speaks the every single language in the world. So mm-hmm. there's always going to be that language barrier. So you, you'll you'll find ways to get around it. I think it would be a lot more difficult than you think especially with tribes like you know if all of a sudden like yeah of course yeah it depends how rural the tribes are the tribes could be like trying to eat you and you just have no idea and you're just like hey guys you want this I got that you know <laughs> so I but I suppose if you're always scared of tribes that want to eat you you'll never live <laughs> yeah. right yeah <laughs> I, I think the the, the, the ta- I was doing this I was yeah, doing yeah, that right, right, right. um the um, Tanzania thing they're not gonna the school's not gonna just ship you off to some no, yeah, random oh, tribe oh, like, yeah obviously we're on obviously. Google Maps and like oh here's a here's some like huts in like a jungle <laughs> <laughs> let's just send them out here Fuck. It's, it's obviously they the tribe are obviously consented and are willing to accept these you know extremely fortunate and yeah. privileged kids we're like fucking hell shit in a fucking hell I don't want to go home <laughs> god yeah <'cause laughs> Imagine if like you got malaria or something when you're over there. Like you definitely have like vaccines and whatnot before you go over there. Like when I went, when I went to the Caribbean, like four weeks before and after, you'd have to take certain medications and shit. just so like 
you know you didn't get it while like the mosquitoes whilst yeah, you're out there that'd be f- yeah fucking malaria seems awful mm. there's a lot of awful diseases out there what's well, like one disease you wish you'd never get not even disease mine would be radiation poisoning I hope I never get radiation oh, poisoning oh no, because that's that's like a slow it's a like, slow burner yeah painful death because you just start like falling apart basically like, like vomiting and melting just, on the bone oh, nah nah yeah, I would like to live with a tribe and help a tribe. <laughs> yeah, sorry, um, we went a bit off, <laughs> didn't we? My bad. Um, Something like India, like a village in India, that'd be pretty cool. Like East Asia, Asia kind of way. Yeah. Just, just experience it as well. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, as, did you watch? Have you watched the David Cho podcast on Joe Rogan? No. He talked about when um, he went to see. It was a tribe in the Congo. Oh, oh no! Short, fat little Asian man. Yeah, yes. Yeah, um, a, paint, a painter, oh, an oh. artist. Oh no, I'm thinking of the guy that's always. On. Oh, I'm thinking of Bobby. What's his name? Uh, What's his name? Uh, uh, yeah, he's I know. always with Theo Vaughn. Yeah, I know. I know who you're on about. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm um, a different guy. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Uh, he when he went to this, this tribe in the Congo, and he was like, "Oh, have you, you guys ever want to like come to America or anything?" And they were like, "Why would we want to go there? That isn't that where people kill themselves, or, like jump off buildings." Hmm. The idea of suicide and me- and like bad mental health to them was so foreign. Because they just live in the dream. They live in a. St- that, that's how we were intended to live. Just hunter gatherers, kind of like, yeah. you know, you you go out, you go and kill some like bear or like animal, get some honey, raw honey. Just if you see them, just go up to a tree and just mm-hmm. get in, put that stick the hand in, rip it out. Just bees all around them. Just because that, that's yeah. come home. Everyone's dead happy because you've you've brought home you an animal. It, yeah. You like you'll probably take some like weird like drink. Probably get absolutely off your face. Yeah, true. The Someone's berries. gonna start playing the bongos yeah. around a fire, and you're just gonna start dancing, fall asleep, go again the next day. God, the dream, living in caves and shit. But that that's how that's how we're supposed to live realistically. Yeah. Like we're not supposed to be. On a podcast, <laughs> no, yeah, we be like in this. a living room in like a built-up area. Yeah, it was just intended for us to sort of be in one with nature and like, <laughs> like, it's, it sounds hippie when I say that, but no, I, I know you're. I it's know just you're like saying. you know, it's like oh, it's all the memes that Finn sends to the chat. Where it's like Return to Monkey. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, if I could, I would. We should. We should just um, get rid of basically all civilization. We should have a a one big revolution that wipes the world of the industrial revolution and then we just go back to being monkey climate change oh yeah true to be fair we might not <laughs> the world like, war three they might do it for yeah apparently world war three's already started according to a russian state spokesman like a tv presenter like one of them let's not talk about that true, <laughs> that, true. Uh, that's, that's bad vibes right <laughs> it's bad vibes. i don't believe in russia's nuclear no nope. like warfare so andrew tate said if you don't believe in it it's not real yeah you know what i mean I can't see it. <laughs> That's the same thing, the same energy as like, uh, what was it? <sighs> George and Mason with a gun pull. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, if you can't see them, they can't see you. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the dinner plate up to their face and like walk across the canteen. Yeah, the kid shit, man. Like, <sighs> Mason with a gun pull was fire. That was my favorite. That and Avenged Time, my favorite. Mm, did you watch regular show? Nah, not really. Mm, boring. Yeah, I, I was, wasn't into it as a kid. Really? It, it didn't strike me. The TV show, the well, the original idea was that it was going to be on Adult Swim. Yeah. Originally, it wasn't going to be on Cartoon Network, and it was like it was Mordecai and Benson, and they were on an acid trip. Yeah, in the um, garage. Yeah, yeah I've seen. I've that, seen that, that, that was going to be the that was supposedly the the original regular show mm-hmm. before it came Mordecai and Rigby and the yeah. kids show. Because that's what it. Um, what was I just about to say? Oh no, that's how they came up with the idea for it. They were on acid, and they like, huh. which is funny, which isn't surprising. Like the characters no. and shit. Yeah, fucking hell. Have you seen like the finale of regular show? No, I didn't. Pretty sad. See, I've seen the last episode, and I was like, really? Yeah. Is it just just pops die? Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Fuck. You just spoke it to the thousands <laughs> of people watching the podcast right now. Like, what the hell? It's weird to have to like, I'm well, not even have to do it, but like when I say that, like watching it right now, because we they're obviously not watching it right now because we're recording it but to somebody watching it that is their present 
oh mate you don't even we'll make this episode about three hours long <laughs> start talking about perspective of uh, time and being in the now <laughs> you said just before the 10 years thing you said you'd be dead yeah I, I really i will probably be dead at realistically time. what would be doing in 10 years uh being dead is is a high chance of a thing no realistically like i think i i do dumb shit i like i i, I think <sighs> one of the things don't sigh at me like that like, <laughs> like come on, you, you, you can't have the opinion that you're gonna die in 10 years i don't think i will um so we're gonna be in 10 years um where would you like to be in 10 years yeah well, that, that's the thing right i'd like to be i'd like to be What's you know barber? it's not the barber right hang on is this the one yeah that's billy that's that, that, that's the guy that bro they called him billy that's that's how i know him his name is billy mm-hmm. sorry guys sorry, yeah, that was, that was pretty, there was an argument argument before was an argue. you guys weren't <laughs> there for it so don't ask questions all right yeah, it's um, not your place oh no fucking hell guys <laughs> that's so rude <laughs> fucking hell um 10 years time I'd like yeah I'd like who the fuck is that what are you staring at some old woman just stopped to stare at your car and then walked off bitch yeah fucking people watching um I'll take the camera out and jump her <laughs> <laughs> bro have you seen that video of people in like Russia and they grab this old woman and just swing around they they they, they like get her off. what and they just swing her in like a circle. Like she's not, in, she's not like in any danger. Or like they're not hurting her, but she's just like screaming, "Oh my fucking god, bro!" It made me laugh so hard. Where do you think you'll be in ten years while I find this video? Earning a lot of money. Yeah. Maybe another a, a different some bi- different businesses maybe. Um. F- famous podcast host. True. Um. <laughs> so look, right. so I'll uh, I'll like maybe edit this on the screen. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? And then no, wait, no, no, because they're doing it like, and then <laughs> wait for it. He's doing it again. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he runs after her. <laughs> He's just standing there screaming, though. Yeah. She, she's not doing anything. What do you do in that situation, though? Someone comes and you start picks you up and starts spinning you. I feel, yeah, I feel like I'd probably start shouting as well. Like, <laughs> you, it's sort of once you realize you're not in any danger, it's like, okay. But I suppose it's not likely that we'd randomly get picked up and spun around. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fuck no, but yeah, yeah edit, edit that on the screen. Yeah, yeah. In post. 10 years. Um, probably um, multiple different properties. Hopefully, I would l- I would like to have like a very good social circle. I, it's not, I'm not saying I don't now, but a very like good, healthy social circle of like successful people who like I can relate to and like we all get along. Uh-huh. It's, very ha- it's a very healthy social circle. It's a lot of growth. Yeah. In, in that in that uh, social environment, um, uh, good relationship, mm-hmm. um, just good good positive vibes. Yeah, just good vibes all around. That's yeah. fair. That seems like a pretty good one. I think. Yeah. Um, oh, fuck. Oh. What did you just do? I just elbowed the wall, basically. Right? I'm, I'm a tough. I'm a tough one. <laughs> Do a pasta. Okay. You know, a banana is a treat. <laughs> what was your sort of like? Um, Can I keep derailing this conversation, bro? <laughs> yeah, because I'm making it more interesting. Um, as a kid, you said it was interesting. <laughs> what was your sort of like? If you were ill or if you were like sad or whatever, what, what like food would you eat? What would you have? I know what mine was. Um, an old ice lolly called Zap. It was great. Um. I don't know, maybe like a Lucasade. Oh fucking hell! Yeah, I used, to, I used to really love Lucasade. The twenty p off brand ones you'd get from the corner. Nah, no, no, had to be. <laughs> I, I didn't cheap out on my Lucasade, nice. right, bro? Was that what your like um, the thing that made you fat was? <laughs> your Probably. Lucasade a lot, lot of Lucasade and a lot, lot of chocolate. 
just sweets in general yeah they're dangerous bro because they're, they're so bright like yeah kids are like oh i want that mm-hmm. they they know what they're doing advertising companies um what, 10 years 10 years 10 years things like to be earning money like i mean like money money you know what i mean 10 years is i'm gonna be like old almost 30 yeah no bro you still got loads of time left when you're 30 like really the um, the amount of things my think about the amount of things that have like happened so far in your life true yeah it's only been 18 years so it's like just over halfway imagine another five ten of them yeah i suppose i suppose Oh god, I'm sorry, you are. I'm tired. I need to get another night tonight. I'm not gonna get another night tonight. Running? Yeah. F- oh. No, I'm excited to go for the run. I um, I'm I like. I enjoy running now more than I used to. I'm gonna have to wear shorts mm. or something tonight though because wearing joggers, my legs were chafing. Mm. Get from fast yeah, ten years. Something. You keep asking me things as well. So when you don't care, you keep telling me things, then it sends me off. Ten years, yeah, so right, earning money. What, like, figure? Give it, like, an estimation. Like, a range. At least 60k. Maybe. Uh, like, a year? Yeah, at least 60k a year. Mm-hmm. Like, at, th- at 30, that's what I'd like. Mm-hmm. Um, I w- I, yeah, I want to have a good group of friends, yeah, that's a good point. Um, you know, I don't know. Like... I want to have fun in life. I feel like right now no one wants to do anything, so I have to sort of make my own fun. I want people that can are gonna have fun doing whatever we, whatever we do. I'd like to spend the money that I'd make. Obviously, I I, w- I want some like some nice materialistic things. Like you yeah. know, you, you want to get you can make it in some bank. You know, you're gonna buy some some Gucci. You know, mm. uh-huh. um, but I would like to spend a lot of my money on experiences rather than yeah. things. Uh, time. I, would like to, I would like to think that that would be my priority with money, not. Let's get this Range Rover. Yeah. I would like to be able to, you know, like, go on, like, holiday, be like, have the, one, the financial freedom, also the, the time freedom to be like, yo, do you want to go to, like, Bali for yeah, the weekend? Right. And, like, sweet, let's, let's yeah, just get on a plane. the cameras and the mics. Exactly. It's just, we, we don't even have to do anything. Just, yeah. just, go, just go and chill for a couple of days in Bali. I'd love to be able to do that. And, like, just go and, like, swimming in the sea, go, like, spearfishing, hunting, just mm. do whatever I want. That's the goal. Fin- the things that I'm doing now is also one fulfillment, and also freedom. Yeah, here's what I've got. I'd like to have more of a self fulfilled life in the sense that mm-hmm. I'd like to do my own stuff for me, like the necessities, like food, I'd like to hunt my own food. That'd be sick. Yeah. I'd like to have like a farm in my back garden or something, like yeah. you know, a greenhouse. Like have it yeah, all. Yeah, I'd love that. Just something where it's like, okay, you know. I'm growing this. I've done this. When I'm eating it, it's like, okay, I did this. I feel like that would be pretty satisfying. I can imagine that would be very satisfying for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. For people who provide for themselves. Like I said, with the, tri- the tribe thing. Yeah. Satisfaction of bringing home, bringing home the bacon. Yeah, literally. To the tribe. You must feel like the, the king. Yeah. Because everyone's like, what? People literally... Oh, shit. Oh. Can they still hear us? Yeah, they can still hear us. Alright, well, that's probably a good time to end it. I feel like we've been going for almost three hours. Like, <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long episode. Um, enjoy change the battery pack. I hope you guys enjoy the visual. <laughs> we get a new, um, a new battery as well. Yeah. If you guys want to donate to the GoFundMe for the podcast, we should probably start one. GoFundMe? Or something. like A, a Patreon? Yeah, true. Sure. Exclusive videos? Yeah, yeah. What are they going to get? They need rewards. Yeah. Alright, well, <laughs> see you in a bizzle, guys. Enjoy the black... I'll put, like, a photo or something on the screen. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah, peace. And uh, we'll see you in episode 10. I hope you enjoy this episode. Oh, yeah, the big one. The big one. <laughs> Bye.